Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello. How are you? Fine. What about you? A little bit um, hungry. No, not hungry. Hungry, angry. 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 Yeah. <laughs> like angry bears. Yeah. Away. Because today somebody of English corporative will call me and told me you don't connect for one class. Just for one class? Yeah. Oh my God, <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, did you explain? Of course. All right. Okay, course. congratulations by the way. Ah, thank you very much. Why did you get a, a plate or an award? <clears throat> because because we are a great customer from Pasela. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. We have a, and where did what, the ceremony take place? Uh, the 60 years of Pasela. Oh, my God. Yeah, 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 yeah. We have and a, they are Salvadorian? Have, yeah. Really? Yeah. So, I mean... 100% Salvadorian. That's a pride. Yeah. A lot of people work for 32, 28, 25 True. years in this yeah. place. I, we have, and, I mean, very few of those companies that are Salvadorian that have stayed for so many years. Yeah, and they yeah. have, uh, uh, how do you say, sucursales? Like, well, the headquarters like the main place, right? And in El Salvador. Uh-huh. And the other but ones are different. Sites, they have, probably. Uh -huh. They have sites, uh, a main site too, uh -huh. in Guatemala and Costa Rica. Really? Because mm -hmm. I know the one here on the road to El Puerto, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they are the only, the only factory who makes pencil in all central in all Latin America? And what? Yeah. And even though it, we have the only company that makes pencil in the whole Latin America, yeah, we don't improve in education. No. That's a no. shame. And nobody knows that. Exactly. Oh. And nobody hmm, knows. But you're so. giving me a really good idea. Hmm? I'm gonna investigate and I'm gonna hmm? tell my my boss because we usually take our our scholarship because they, they are scholars. They they have yep. scholarships, so they usually have like two or three cultural trips along the yep. year. So we usually go to visit this, this type of company. They love that. Yeah, it would be really great. Yeah. Actually, actually, I I know. I'm sorry about my neighbors, though. Uh, I know the place because uh, they used to have the the offices of Ipsy. That is the certificator mm -hmm. agency for Central America of toy of TOEFL. No, TOEIC. No, TOEIC. Yeah, the okay. test of English for international communication. So the offices used to be there in their site. And I used to take a couple of students to take the exam over there because sometimes when they come to to our uh, foundation, some kids were sick. So later I had to take them over there to the offices. They are very, very kind of people. The, 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 the owner mm. and, and his family is very, very, very kind. Uh, how are you? They don't know me, of course. I know that my 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 seller, my my sell, uh, executive, executive, and, right. and executive, and and the owner come with uh, our table and thank you so much for uh, be our client. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. In and my, where in did that take place? In uh, Sheraton Presidente. Oh nice, that's a nice place. And uh, the in my company we have one division. Mm -hmm. who cares to buy a lot of product and, and say to, for example, Banco Cucatlan, okay, I will provide you the toilet paper, the print paper, the sharpers, all your business uh, 
all your business uh, equipment mm -hmm. for low price mm -hmm. because we we buy uh, a lot of vol volume of, of mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. Then we buy to them because mm -hmm. they are pro they produce or all, all, all the thing right. they don't buy. Mm -hmm. And in my personal case, I buy the promotionals mm -hmm. with. Uh, a, with uh, uh, pencils to my clients, to, mm -hmm. to, to, to the client. Then I, we are a, a, a very special client for for the, the this company. And that's the reason because they give us a, a prime, a, a, a recognition. Award. A recognition. Award. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, wow, yeah. that's really nice. And it looked really beautiful, actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's so cute. Okay, nice. Thanks for sharing. By the way, these people, we're still waiting. <laughs> okay, it's almost time to have the attendance. Let's see. Nobody has said anything on the chat. Say good evening. Hello, everyone. Glad to have you here. Hey, hey. Nice. Uh-huh. What else? Let's see. Those typing skills. <laughs> Mechanic. <laughs> typing, typing. Say hello, say good evening, say how you're feeling, say how your day was. Say Anything, express something in words. Mm -hmm. Well, it's almost time for the first attendance. We have just nine participants, so this would be the first time I have the attendance taken. Let's see. Okay, let's look for the right corresponding date, which is the 27th of October. Okay, Adriana. Not yet. Uh -huh, let me see. Carlos, not yet. Cristina. Están. No. Hello. Elsie. Not yet. Fatima. Not yet, Fatima. What has happened to her? Gone. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, for man. Okay, so. Hey. How are you? Fine. How are you feeling? Um, pretty tired. Oh, what? Sorry. Pretty, pretty tired. Pretty tired. Oh, that's so sad. Uh, very good. All right. Great. Welcome. Thank you. All right. Let's continue. Isabel. Oh, okay. Hi, Isabel. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Welcome. Today you got home early. A little early. <laughs> A bit earlier than every day. Catherine. Lucy. Present. All right. Well, present well, teacher. Okay, thank you. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Soy Carlos, teacher. <laughs> Hello, Carlos. How are you? I'm fine. I'm in this moment. I I am. How do you say campamento? On a camp uh, or camping. <laughs> uh, it depends on what type of camp. Okay, I'm. 
to a station camping. Really? Yeah, I'm sales to a station five of I November. Oh, really? Yes. So you will have to stay there all night? Uh, only, uh, only one day. But all night? What? All night. Um, all night. Oh, really? Uh, yes. Uh, and no sleeping. Uh, yeah. Uh, no. Uh, I finished my my work. Mm -hmm. uh, Four p.m. Mm -hmm. uh, I am. I am. Uh, I am uh, Cabañas between Chalatenango. Really? Yes. <gasps> the camp, the camp, stay next next to the dam. Really? Yeah. Say hi to the people from Cabañas. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, today, I am going to stay in the cell phone. It's okay, no problem, but thank you. Okay. All right, let's continue, Mayra. Listen. How are you, Mayra? Fine. Fine. Good. Good to see you. Nuri? Present teacher. Hello, good evening. How are Hello. you? Fine. A little tired, but fine. <laughs> Thank God, you're fine. Okay. <laughs> Roberto Carlos? Uh, present. Hello, welcome. Samuel. Present. Joy. Thank you, Shin. All right. Vitalia. Present. Hello, welcome. Walter. Present teacher. Hi. Good evening, everybody. Good How's evening, life Walter. Is treating you in San evening, Miguel. Walter. <laughs> yes. It's very hot right now. Really? Yes. <laughs> San Salvador was really hot today, too. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Welcome. When Hello, you... teacher. Sorry for late. Okay. No problem. Welcome. Okay. Let's see. Wendy? I am here, teacher. Well Boy, the camino. Going home. <laughs> yes, teacher. <laughs> Careful. Irma? Present, teacher. Hello, good evening. Welcome. Okay, let's see. We still have some more videos. Oh, some more videos. Some more. <laughs> um, I'm just crazy. Today has been a crazy day. <laughs> ah, tomorrow we have our expo. That is firing as hell. You have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> We've been running like crazy. And, and the kiddos are really tired too because they are being rehearsing, rehearsing, rehearsing so that they don't forget anything. They have lots of information to share. They have been building websites. So it's a lot of work, a lot of technical vocabulary. We've been practicing and practicing the presentation. So yeah, I was saying, we still have some more greetings. It says, hey guys, good evening from Hector. Then from Walter, it says, good night, everybody. Glad to see you again. Nice. Okay, thumbs up if you participate on the chat. <laughs> okay, guess what? What day is today? Uh -huh. Thursday, today is Thursday. Thursday, that's right. Today is Thursday. No, he has a dulce. ¿Cómo lo puede llevar abierto? October. October. 27th, 2022. 2022, 2022. And this is our class number nine. Okay. What did we do yesterday? A ver, ¿quién se me acuerda? ¿Qué trató la clase ayer? 
somebody remembers? Yes, uh, we talk about su suggestion uh, using the clue. Yeah, we did a review because, review. Yes, yes, I heard some people say, oh no, because uh, we only have very few examples, we need more examples. So we were practicing, okay? You were giving the suggestion in a polite way using could, right? So there were some situations given and then you were suggesting you could do this, this, and this, right? So that was one thing, very good. What else? Mm -hmm. What else do you remember? No more. <laughs> really? We talk about the issues of our restaurants, different kinds of uh -huh. issues that we can use. Well, that's right. Now we also also the also the procedures like uh, bowing for exactly. uh, sanitizing for storage. Uh, purchase, uh, hand washing, and the descriptions. Exactly, and sanitizing, that was the other procedure, right? Exactly, we were yeah. practicing vocabulary and the definitions of all these procedures at the kitchen in this, I mean, in this case, the lesson focuses on this area of the restaurant, right? The procedures of people, I mean, for workers at a restaurant have to follow. Exactly, we were practicing that vocabulary a lot. That's right, okay. So, so far, so good. We're gonna introduce the new, the new lesson. And I already showed you, probably you say, oh no, what, where, where is that? So this is probably, let's see, page, I'm not quite sure, I guess it's page 18. Let me show the manual instead uh, and here we go let's see page 19 i'm sorry yeah because we studied page 18 yesterday right we studied this vocabulary which is the procedures and the descriptions right so we're gonna get into the topic deep into the topic all right and of course, these were the definitions that you were given in practicing some more examples as well, right? All right, and then we go and jump into the next lesson. That is, describe the steps of a procedure. Yes, probably a procedure is not one single action. It could be like two or three or more actions, right? So that's why we gotta take a step, a step by step, right? And we gotta start talking. What steps do you follow in your everyday work? What happens when an employee doesn't follow procedures? Uh oh. Okay. An example can be: when I get to my work, I have to do this, this, and this. So those are the steps, okay? So it depends of the different jobs because we don't have the same job. We all have different jobs. So probably the steps may be different, okay? The steps can be, uh, let's say something for somebody who works in a bank is different procedures than the procedures that people who work in a restaurant, for example, right? So. The steps, uh, usually in my case, as a teacher, we usually have taking attendance, you know, like to check that the students are there, similar to the online classes, but in person, of course. So what we usually do is that the students have a batch, and we usually scan the, the barcode. I mean, we got a, I think it's an app on a tablet, we scan the barcode to see so they register their attendance. And the next step is to have um, the kind of uh, assembly, like for general uh, announcements. Then the students, the students usually go to the to their classrooms and we start classes. 
So I will usually assign rooms because they don't stay in the same place every day. So we usually assign rooms because of the activities that they have to do every day. And what other steps? Do we follow? Um, let's see. Yes, usually on Mondays we have meetings right after classes. And then we usually check the same procedure or the same steps again in the afternoon. We do the same. But that is the case of a teacher. Yes. But of course, you have different jobs, you have different steps. You, I mean, you have different procedures and you have different steps to follow those procedures, right? So that must be very different. For example, um, when you get to your work, how do you, how do you mark, like how do you check your attendance? Do you sign? Do you just go with the digital badge? or you go with your fingerprint. After the pandemic, nobody uses the fingerprint anymore, right? <laughs> because we used to have one fingerprint and they, young, they only used it for about three months. And then because, I mean, because of the physical contact, you're not supposed to be using those things. So the machine is there wasting just space. I mean, just <laughs> taking up a space and collecting dust. So what do you usually do to, to mark your attendance when you get to your work? Or go through security if you work in a bank, probably, right? Mm -hmm. Volunteers. Oh, you just say, hey, here I am. <laughs> in our case, we have a lot of cameras to see us. And mark the time. And uh, and uh, the security guard in the in the main in the main in entrance, entrance uh -huh. take take the 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 hour Attendance. when you come. Yeah. Okay. Oh wow. So you go through security first. <laughs> yeah, they check out all your car, your the, the engine, the motor, the the trunk, really? everything. Oh my god. Well, in our company, they also ask us to open the the trunk only when we leave. To see if we're not taking any products from coming. <laughs> yes, well, but in, in our end, case, both you, both enters mm -hmm. or, or exit. Yeah. Uh -huh. In True. both ways. So those are the procedures, you know? And the steps that you have to follow, definitely. We have all the money. <laughs> huh? Exactly. And that's something they have to do because that's their job. So probably got to discuss this. What steps do you follow in your everyday work? Remember, it's about your work. Probably is it you explain to your partners. I don't I don't have this kind of a strict jobs or I don't work for a company. I have my own business, so I don't have to do that. Or probably you do it with your employees. Okay, to check sometimes, yeah, you know, depending on the job. I have heard also that if you work more with um, kind of relationships you know like personal or okay, relationships so people usually you know like check on other people's feelings so that could be a procedure as well like they check if everybody's feeling well everybody's feeling um in the right mood for attending customers so it all depends like in restaurants sometimes i have seen that the I don't know if it's the manager or the leader that usually, you know, like cheering up on all the, the employees so that they receive and attend the customers with a big smile to sound very attentive and to sound very happy. So they're always like cheering up, like saying, yeah, we are the best. Oh, we're serving good. I don't know. You know, but those are different steps that you follow and the procedures, okay, at work. So I'm gonna give you a couple of minutes for you to share, share your experience at work, okay? And the different steps or procedures that you have to do. Let's see, I'm going to, yes, create this. And let's go. Buenas noches.
Sí, hablar de los pasos que hacemos cuando íbamos a la oficina. Okay. <ríe> Yo me perdí un poquito. Eh, solo estamos los dos. Está Cristina. Cristina, ¿verdad? Que no la vi en principio, pero oye, no. ¿Qué pasa? Que estoy con el teléfono, entonces no, no estoy muy acostumbrada la, a la del teléfono, entonces. Hola, Cristina. Permítame que algo le pasa a mi micrófono. Permítame que... Ah, pero ¿Me se escucha? oye. Ah, ¿Sí? Pues, ¿Se escucha? Yes. Hola, Roberto. Hola. Qué <laughs> well, okay. I'm going to start uh -huh, to, okay. to present my my procedures at my work. Well, when I I work in a in a um, only music stories and any of the the place of my work, I am a sales person. Uh, first of all, when I arrive to my work, uh, we have to to say our enters. And after that, uh, we have to clean our area of work and clean the different kinds of instruments, equipment. Um, after that, we have to uh, check up the good different kind of quotation for different customers that we have. Um, after that, we have to pick up the phone and start to call to different customers for to offer uh, different products or they, they uh, if they are uh, uh, interested about different kinds of equipment. Um, and after that, we have to, well, uh, have to attend to our customer. And we receive training too about the equipment that we receive. We have to know about the different equipment for to explain to our customer what is the function of the, this equipment. And uh, we have to deal with different customers that we receive daily. Uh, well, you know, when, when you are to customer service, you have to deal with with different kinds of customers we need to receive. Um, and for the end, to, uh, we have only one hour for to take a lunch. And... Oh, I'm kidding. <laughs> Hello. What happened? Hello. Hello, teacher. Tell me. I have a question. Yes. We have a question. <laughs> right, tell us. Uh, what is the task? Oh yeah, just to talk, to describe the different procedures at work. Obviously we all have different work, pero algo que, que ustedes digan, ah, esto siempre lo tenemos que hacer, y este es el procedimiento, y esos son los pasos a seguir. Mm -hmm. Yes? It's different. Eh, es, es, es como, como hablar de la primera pregunta que, que se hace. What, eh, what happened? No, 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 no. Es... Ah, bueno. What step do you follow in your everyday work? Exactly. Ah. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we don't have the same work, so we have different procedures, so we have different steps. So that's oh, why it's sharing. Mm -hmm. mm. No key. Right. Thank you, Teach. Cool, no problem. Entonces sí, es, 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 es como lo estábamos viendo, este, Isabel. O sea, ¿qué es lo que, lo que hacemos? Casi que 
todos los días. O sea, Prácticamente en, en nuestro trabajo, cada uno. Ajá. Uh -huh. What step do you follow in your ever to work? Eh, quiero ver. Procedure of the sanitizing when and when I enter uh, my company, uh, the security um, gives me a little, a little gel in my hands and also give me a mask and check my temperature. Mm -hmm. Okay. So En, 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 en the car reader, que sería como el post. Mm -hmm. Then the register prints the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Después de eso, la máquina registradora imprime el recibo y nosotros se lo damos al cliente. Finally, the customer sends the receipt and you keep the copy. Finalmente, el cliente firma su voucher o su recibo. Y nosotros nos quedamos con una copia. Ahorita está la licenciada, creo. ¿Le quiere hacer alguna pregunta? Eh, sí, como eh, dice. Yes, no. tell me. Eh, eh. Sí, eh, tenemos que detallar. ¿Cuáles son los pasos a seguir según la conversación que, que leemos acá? O, o digamos, ¿cómo nos atienden cuando hemos ido a un restaurante? No, o se tiene que contar cuáles son los procedimientos que más se repiten en su trabajo ah. y cuáles son los pasos a seguir. Lo que tiene que hacer es compartir acerca de esos procedimientos en su trabajo. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Gracias. All right. Thank you. Okay. What do you do in your work? What are uh, what are different procedures pursuit do you have in your work? Um, For example, <clears throat> de, bueno, primero este, le dan una asesoría al cliente sobre el producto. Eh, luego de que ya lo asesoraron, lo pasan a caja. Uh -huh. Le elaboró la factura. Este, luego eh, hacen el chequeo del, del producto okay. contra la factura uh -huh. y este, ya cuando hacen el chequeo le entrega el producto, lo despachan al cliente. Ok, hoy trate de decirlo en inglés. Okay, the, the, the first steps, the customer uh, come into the store. We have uh, the owner visit. Mm -hmm. We have to attend the, the, the represent to the owner, the oh. education. Eso creo que no, no podríamos traducir como Ministerio de Educación. Minister edu oh. Education. Mm -hmm. edu education. Min minister. Mm -hmm. sí. sí, Minister ed Education. Mm -hmm. Then de our projects are in La Unión, oh. Pasaquina, en San Alejo. You have to travel. Ah, oh, yeah. 
I have to to I have to walk there all the day. And Good. the weather was so hot all the day. Very, very uh, it was very sunny. Uh -huh, so yes, very, yes. Very, very tired, but uh, I returned to six o'clock p.m. Mm -hmm. I waited for a moment in the office with the traffic down and mm -hmm. after I have to I had to drive to my house and rest for a moment because I was so tired. <laughs> I can imagine. Wow. Okay. Yeah. You can this is my my day of work. <laughs> it's very interesting you work because about, uh, for yeah. your work you had to travel and you know different places that for yeah. example for example you know uh, the whole Salvador. Yeah, uh sometimes I have to go to Salvador take documents for uh, the budget say eh? to can um cobrar como digamos cobrar el trabajo como cobradores charge uh, to charge charge yes okay, okay. Oh. i have to eh, eh, llevar take uh, i have to take some documents for can eh, cobrar como dijo teacher charge c h a r g e charge ah, charge uh -huh. ah okay i have to take some document to can charge mm -hmm. the money <laughs> <laughs> and i have uh, so many responsibilities but i mm. i i like my work i love my work <laughs> only only you May make making in this 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 work. No, I have some uh, partners in my work, but uh, the the owner of the company, uh, uh, she trusts many many responsibilities on me, and then oh, I have okay. to do some uh, uh, work and. Trust me for say for do this. It is. Mm -hmm. in, in the projects we have many many employees. Uh, about uh, 25, 30 people working in each project. Good. Excellent. Very interesting. Yeah. Your work are interesting too. Mm -hmm. Um, all, with, all, yes. all, all our activities uh, are so important because yes. we are uh, worker people. Ahora somos tres. Pero, pero si me toca ni modo, me toca tomarlo. In your case, Roberto, never. Water. Only water. Uh, only water. Beer. And <laughs> no. Chocolate. <laughs> no. And fresco de tamarindo. Natural. I see. Uh, no, mucho. Uh, only natural. Está bien. Yeah. Teacher, do you like coffee? I love coffee. I love coffee. <laughs> Why? Me too. I love co I love coffee. But yes. without coffee during the day? Hmm? But it's Carlos, difficult. Roberto, and Cristina don't like. Really? <laughs> you are in the group of the coffee haters. <laughs> I don't drink coffee in 20 years ago. Really? 
How can you do years. that? <laughs> and soda and Every one, <laughs> no, one for month. No, I'm a coffee lover. I discovered that uh -huh. I love coffee so much. And I have a very favorite brand that I thank God I have the possibility <laughs> to get the this coffee, like the big jar oh. in a in a discount. So I mean without a coffee a day, it's a very hard day, it's a very difficult day. And that is every day when I work. And on Saturday or Sundays, it's an excuse to go out and have a dessert. <laughs> With a cup of coffee, of course. But I prefer homemade coffee. I think it's, it, it, I mean, the taste when you make the coffee at home, you leave it, I mean, the taste you want. And the restaurants, the, the taste can be very different. It can be sweeter, it can be bitter. So I'd rather make coffee at home. Uh, do you like to go coffee cup? Mm, it's a good place. It's a good place for coffee. Yeah, but if Starbucks? we can say if we can say yeah, but Starbucks is too strong. It's because it's American style. Even though they buy the coffee from El Salvador, mm -hmm. because I don't know if you <laughs> ever been to a taco in Guayua, mm -hmm. they sell the coffee for Starbucks. So, <laughs> so it's it's really strong, but my favorite for dessert and coffee definitely is San Martin. They do have delicious dessert. It's not that I mean it's not that good, but the dessert compensates. And they do have offers too. They call it I don't know the name tardes dulces or something like that. So they can give you like two desserts and two coffees for a lower price. In San Martin. After 3 p.m. Every day. <laughs> <laughs> now you know. <laughs> okay, maybe we can meet there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now she knows, you see? Oh, and the things that they have, oh my God, you get really impressed. Like every season, they have the cups and the mugs all decorated with the season. For Christmas, they have beautiful things. For Mother's Day, for Valentine's, for, I don't know if they have for Halloween, but they do have. And the cookies, the bread, the desserts, everything is so beautiful. With the serve. You can spend a lot of money there. <laughs> you finish all the conversation and the description? Yes. All right. Yeah. Good. Let's go back. Oh. Hey. I hope you practice enough that you are more confident now to describe the procedures in your work. And that way we can also learn a little bit more about your work. Okay? Did you practice? Did you feel more confident about expressing the steps and the procedures at work? Yes? Do you feel ready? Thumbs up? Ya sea así o con la reacción pueden hacer el thumb up. Así. Los que sientan listos para describir los procedimientos de su trabajo. Thumb up. Algunos me habían regresado. <laughs> Welcome. Okay, thank you. <laughs> All right. Okay. But this is how we're going to start. Yo voy a elegir a alguien, esa persona va a describir como los procedimientos que generalmente siguen su trabajo y los pasos para hacer ese procedimiento. Y luego cuando haya terminado, esa persona va a nombrar a alguien más, en son, en son, hasta que lo digamos todos. Así que tratemos de ser efficient, ¿ok? Mm, quiero ver quién tiene así como ganas de participar. Primero no voy a hacer que se vaya la luz allá en cabañas. Ah, <ríe> yo la tengo. Y que no sabe qué puede pasar so far away. 
Bueno, empecé a hablar con Mr. Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. I know he has a very interesting work, so the procedures must be very interesting too. Okay, in general, uh, my work is where is the field is not office. Uh -huh. uh, my boss, uh, I uh, he he give me order the work. Uh -huh. I move to the substation. Uh, I realize means the circuit breaker has voltage. And, uh, we have five rules of gold. Cinco reglas de oro. Golden rules. Golden rules. Five golden, five golden, five rules. golden rules. Don't die, no. <laughs> <laughs> five golden rules. Uh -huh. Because uh, if our security. Uh -huh. Yes, because of your safety. Yes. Uh, uh, do, you know the, do you want to share the rules? What? Do you, you want, want to share about the five golden rules? Uh, si yo quiero... Compartir. Compartir, ¿cuáles son esas esa reglas? Ah, ok. Uh, the number one. Uh -huh. uh, um, cut, cut the, the, support, the supply voltage. Uh -huh. uh, number two, uh, I have uh, verified ausencia. Absence? Absence voltage. Okay, to verify the, the voltage absence. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, number three. Uh, uh, I, we, we have installed uh -huh. uh, I don't know. Uh, we have uh, aterrizar land 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 uh -huh. land and the super breaker uh -huh. uh, number three number four uh, we have uh, the limit the area uh -huh. the work uh -huh. with cinta a, a yellow cinta uh -huh. A uh, band, yellow band. Uh -huh, yellow band. Uh -huh, the safety band. And the, and the last one is... Uh, Where the safety helmet mean, or the equipment. What? To wear the safety ah, helmet yes, and the, the suit. Mm -hmm. yes, uh, complete. Complete uh, equipment. Complete, complete. Uh -huh. And number five... Uh, we have five minutes uh, conversation with security. Uh, before, before. Before starting any procedure. Yes, uh, but about um, what, what is the point? Is, le llamamos puntos calientes o partes energizadas. Electrify. Electrify. Points. Uh, about the de eso, de eso trata los cinco minutos. Oh wow. Yeah, I bet your your work is definitely very, very risky. <laughs> so you have yes. to be very, very careful with the safety procedures. In my work I don't mistake. No, no mistake, is that the mistake or mistake. they would be fatal, it would be fatal. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So you never see an accident. Yeah. Uh, uh, after uh, have been accident. Many accidents. Uh, die. Really. Yeah. It's horrible. 
Yes, I believe you. I believe you. Oh my God. Well, thank you for sharing. For the ones that don't know, Mr. Carlo works for what is the company? Eyes, ah, right? Etesal. Etesal. So Etesal. more complete. <laughs> <laughs> Even more complete. Okay, great. So you have to say a name, remember. Don't forget. You have to choose a name. Who? Yeah, I'm in a conversation in his work. Carlos, your microphone is off. <laughs> Excuse me. I... <laughs> Grand conversation. I, I don't, I don't, no, I, uh, Fatima. Ah, thank you. I choose Fatima. All right, Fatima, mm -hmm. you have to describe what your job consists of because... I'm we... sorry, Fatima. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because maybe we don't know what kind of job you do. Okay. Um, when well, I go to my job two days on week on the week. <laughs> the three the three other days I home office. I have, I have home office. <laughs> um when I go to my go to my office, um I salute to to the watchers and mark my entry on the digital clock. I walk up the stairs to get to my desk and salute to my coworkers and put my computer in the desk, uh, turn it on and while I go to the kitchen to serve my coffee. <laughs> <laughs> that must be my procedure. <laughs> this okay. is my procedure. All right. Only two days a week. Yes. Two days. <sighs> Wednesday and Thursday. <laughs> really? And the other three days you do home office? Home office. <laughs> and what is your job? Is Aeroman. En las cascadas. Ah, interesting. Yes. And the days that you go to work, you go to the airport. No, en las cascadas. Okay. Se las cascadas. So you never go to the airport. Eh, como digo, antes. Used to. I, I used to go. I used to go eh, since two mm -hmm. years. Mm -hmm. Since the pandemic. Ajá. Uh -huh. Mm. So your work is administrative. Yes, I mm. pay payrolls and providers. Ah, suppliers. Oh, nice. Wow, sounds very interesting. In though. treasury. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sounds very interesting, though. So it's true. I mean, those people don't really have to go to the companies every day, right? Because in my company as well, until last month, I think everybody used to go only on Tuesdays. This type of jobs, of course, we go like every single day because it's a different job. <laughs> okay, nice. Congratulations. All right. You choose somebody else. Um, Hector. Hector Morales. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> uh, my work is not and not have uh, nothing especially. Mm -hmm. And the beginning, <laughs> uh, when when we need a uh, uh, check at uh, make it with a finger. Mm -hmm, like a finger uh, like you, 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 you talk. Uh, a couple of minutes ago <laughs> uh, with the finger, but mm -hmm. with the pandemia, 
I don't know who say in English, pandemic. Pandemic. Pandemia. I don't know. In the pandemic, mm -hmm. change the, 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 the way for... Mm -hmm. What? The procedures mm -hmm. to have the attendance. The procedures. Mm -hmm. uh, and in before, maybe after, before the, the pandemic, mm -hmm. use a app in, in, in the web. Mm -hmm. It's very easy, but uh, like uh, Salvadorian people, make a a trap a trap tra a trick trick a trick and, and, and we, we can <laughs> check and uh, and on the car in the car before arriving uh, to the work before arrive at, at work before uh, arrive at work maybe i have in a uh, in the traffic and oh my god it's time for for start the job. Ah, no, 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 no. So you no, use the app from your devices. Yapa, yapa. We can, uh, and uh, never, never the people come later to the work. Yeah. Never. But uh, the man. Uh huh. We 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 job. Uh, Se dio cuenta de eso, como diría. Found mm -hmm. out. Realized. Uh -huh. They realized. They realized of the of the trick. Uh -huh, the, the, the trick. And, and now it's necessary compare my check with the check uh, the, of the security supervisor. people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> security. <laughs> no supervisor. No security. <laughs> Even security, worse. Uh, it's a uh, so, so, uh, so, oh, see, I don't see? know. Uh -huh. See, the, the people, oh, Hector, you come at uh, 8 and, and 30. No problem. I, 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 I check you, your, your, your entry mm -hmm. uh, this, uh, in this time. Uh, uh, no importa, ne no, never mind. Never mind, it doesn't matter. Never mind, I, I, I check. Uh, Before 7 or 7.30. Ah. Uh, this is this is the adventure in my work. Nothing, imagine, nothing imagine, como si fuéramos este niño, verdad? Like, <laughs> <laughs> like a children. <laughs> exactly, as if we were kids, and they have to be telling us, no, this is not correct. This is what you're supposed to do. <laughs> uh, yeah. Exactly, my, my, pulling your <laughs> ear. Pulling your ear. Uh -huh, uh -huh. No, that's. That's not possible. In, in my in my last work, mm -hmm. my boss said to us, "I don't pay for an alga. <laughs> <laughs> I'm paying for results. I don't care if you come here to nine o'clock and you leave at four o'clock. If you give me the results, you can do whatever you want." Really? Yeah. And 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 it's working. And it's work. Good. Good. Different philosophies, right? Another philosophy, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because we we are a uh, professional for make our our job. <laughs> That's the point. The, the problem the problem is the people who, who have responsibilities um, to be there because sometimes people cannot do things if they are not at the place. Hmm? Hmm? It depends on the work because in some in some places it's impossible to do your responsibility if you are not in the place. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. for, 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 yeah. for example, for example, the Fatima's work, she can do it all this work, all her work in her home. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She don't need to stay in the in the site. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. True. But but uh, uh, but Carlos need to stay in the in the in the in the <laughs> in the campment right now. Definitely. Who will do his work? Nobody. Exactly, and he and he can leave my city in the darkness if he's not no. there. <laughs> <laughs> and that's not possible. <laughs> no, you know, maybe here in San Salvador, there, let's say there is a blackout. Okay. But in one or two hours, the most, the service is reestablished. But in the towns, if there is a blackout, next day. 24 hours before, I don't, I'm not saying anything about now, 
because I don't live there anymore. But before it was like so long that they reestablished the service. It took them so long. Hopefully now, that's why he is over there. <laughs> okay, hopefully. All like right. in a war, like in a war time. Uh -huh. Do you remember? Oh, no, yes. you are so young. Ah, yeah, you Thomas wish. John. <laughs> you wish. No, I remember. I was a kid. I was a kid already. But I remember it was terrible. It was really, really terrible. All right, who's next, Hector? Let me see the, the list. The ladies. <laughs> I I think uh, Lucy. Lucy. Lucy is another one that has to be very responsible and strict with the yeah, procedures yeah. at work. Hello. Hey. One of my responsibilities at first in my normal, in a normal day is to calibrate some equipment for monitoring atmosphere. Um, it's like a um, view the percentage of oxygen and other um, chemical. Um, ¿Cómo se dice sustancia? Substances. Substances. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. And then um, I check some emails, respond some inquires in my work um, and it's my work is very it's is very it's for a field activities i mean i check the work condition about safety and environment and um, my responsibilities yes all right Thank you. And you're still working for a construction company. She's gone. <laughs> and she didn't say the name either. She didn't say who's next. Lori. Manager. All right. Catherine, you want to participate? Yes. All right. So, Catherine, and then we will let uh, Nuri participate. Okay. Uh, in my case, the first procedures are uh, sanitizing, um, the um, security gives me a little bit of uh, help and then give me a mask mm -hmm. and check my temperature. Temperature. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, mark my entrance, uh, my entrance time. Mm -hmm. uh, the second procedure is turn off my computer. Sorry, turn on my computer and check uh, emails. Um, check report and controls and also create emails and answer calls or make calls and answer the emails to my boss and then um, give uh, information to all the employees or some indications from my boss and and then i go to another area in the company for to do some how do you say tramite <laughs> errands <laughs> events errands errands uh -huh. errands for to do some errands uh to employees and finally uh turn off my computer and uh, turn off the lights close the office and mark my sailing uh out and you say exit mm -hmm. exit uh, exit and all right that's and may i ask you what is your job in what company you work for? 
I'm shipping assistant. Uh, what company? And the uh, fruit of the loom. Oh, really? Yes. And where is the office located? Zona Franca de Oh my God, they do have a, a company there. I thought it was only yes. on, um, what is the name of Juan Pico, I guess. Like the, uh, the American Park, I thought. American Park, yes. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah. So they have another one. They have uh, two other uh, sites. Yes, uh, four, I think. About four, four. in the country. Yes. Two more. Two more. Yes. Uh -huh. In San Marcos? But, uh, no, in no San Marcos, no, 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 no more. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, wow. So you do have to communicate in English. Yes. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, all the time yeah. I have had students who work at front of the loom, they definitely have to communicate in English. And at the beginning, it was hard for you to send and receive emails only in English. Uh, yes, and also uh, chat with another person in like uh, India. Oh, uh, yeah, different when I have an issue. Yes. When I have issues with, I don't know, treatments uh, or something like that. Uh, Provide so suppliers, customers. Yes. Right. Um, yes. Oh, wow. My admiration. <laughs> <laughs> Thank okay. you, and we And we are pending with the pupusa from Monoquilta, okay? Hey, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's another trip we have, okay? <laughs> All right. Who do you, oh, no, we already have Nuri. It's true. Nuri has a very interesting job too. Pay attention. Okay. <laughs> uh, my in my work, I usually do do in the office, but some days in the week I have to work uh, to the projects mm -hmm. because I work in a, a construction enterprise, and my um, occupation is project managers. And then uh, I have to do many, many activities in my company. And after to make projects, I have to make posts, budgets, programmations, uh, plans, uh, draw, write, and so, so many, many more. My God. <laughs> when we have projects, mm -hmm. I, I have to go to the projects and direct the construction and we have uh, another employees in the projects and the, uh, for example residents they are uh, architects and engineers sometimes engineers uh -huh. Engin engineers mm -hmm. and i am i have to go and and say the direct the construction and when i go to the office i have to receive too many callers and i have to do too many callers too you have to make a lot of phone calls okay mm -hmm. uh-huh um, our projects are located in the pasaquim in, in san alejo Actually, we are improvement in, in two schools. The from the government, schools, the public schools. From the government, with the yes. education ministry. Hmm? And then my worry is uh, all the day is very, very uh, busy, busy. So you live in San Miguel and you have to go to Pasaquina. Yes, I live in San Miguel, but our projects are in La Unión. Right. How many hours do you drive to get to San Alejo to get uh, to, to Pasaquina? Uh, about one hour. Really? 45 minutes. It's, it's near. It's fast. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's no traffic either. Uh, sometimes. Sometimes. Uh, heavy traffic to the border. To the border. I know. Honduras Pasaquina is a border mm -hmm. with Honduras. Amatillo border. Exactly. It's near from Amatillo border. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Pasaquina is really hot too. Okay. See. <laughs> and the weather is very, very hot. 
Yes, I know. It's <laughs> terrible. Yes. Mm -hmm. You cannot terrible. even feel the air conditioner in Pasaquina. No. <laughs> uh. We don't have air conditioner in the project. <laughs> I know. Natural air. <laughs> the sun. <laughs> the sun. Okay. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. And yeah. how many years have you been an architect? Yeah, I have uh, some years. You have yes. lots of experience being an architect. Yeah, I love my work. <laughs> I nice. love it. Yeah. Wow. Uh -huh. I'm impressed, you see? Thank you. All right. Okay, and the, the next. Thing, yes. The next, let me see, let me see. Um, Wendy. <laughs> Wendy. Wendy, where are you? <laughs> Wendy is not here. Say another name. Then the next is um Elsie. Elsie. Hola, hola. Hi. Hola. <laughs> you are the next. <laughs> okay. Um in my past. Uh, checking time at 8 a.m. Uh, on the computer. After check email and reply email. Make an export calls. I meeting with my boss every day, usually in the morning. I support appointing activities. Appointing activities, uh huh. Okay. That's all. Oh, yes. wow. You are definitely assisting your boss. Yes. <laughs> Is she nice? Yes, of course you would say that. <laughs> you have a woman or a man boss? Man. Is he nice? Yes. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> yes, because sometimes when bosses are under stress, huh? you don't want to be close there. <laughs> you want to be far away. <laughs> True. <laughs> Who's next, Elsie? Uh, veamos. Let's see. Um, Fermán está por ahí. Oh no, Fermán is in Guatemala. I bet he's traveling to us. <laughs> no, he's not in class today. Samuel. 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 <laughs> okay. Wait a minute. <laughs> well, uh, we talk about the different procedures from the office or when we As go into the office. Okay. As you wish. Um, we talk with Vitalia. Uh, mm -hmm. We have a, 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 a pursuit for from pay remesses. Mm -hmm. um, the the customer come to our to our store and he, he say us uh, somebody send money from the United States, and we ask to who send it to show us her ID mm -hmm. to give us the amount to send to him or her. And then we check in our system if the information that he gave us is correct. If uh -huh. this if the information is correct, we we print we print a, a receipt mm -hmm. and he he yeah, and the people need, have to see it and accept all the term and condition. And after that, we can give him the money. Cash. Cash, yeah. All right, nice. People still receive a lot of allowances from the state. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people. Once I was impressed because the, I, I was at the supermarket, you know, making the line to buy some products. And I saw there were two guys in front of me and they were receiving but a huge amount of cash. I was really impressed that even the cashier didn't have enough cash. She went to another cashier and she even asked, and the man 
it's been long long time counting the money and i was like i'm just getting my jogger could you please <laughs> you know i was like that was the, the time that i was like really impressed how much cash people can receive was like, for example wow. uh, for example in, in in our office only can pay one thousand dollars one thousand yeah, this is the, the, the max. The, the biggest the, amount. The biggest, the biggest amount. Mm -hmm. But uh, we have a client to, to, to came from us that I need $4,000. Uh, $4, and in that case, what do you do? Uh, please go into the main uh, uh, Western Union agency. Really? Yeah. So that we don't have, it's we like don't a, have $4,000. A, a bank? Yeah. For example, but mm -hmm. but uh, uh, regularly they come from the Western Union. Really? Yeah. Oh wow! Impressive. Nice. Well, because of the time, we're gonna have the second attendance, and because of the time, yeah, maybe we're not gonna let everybody participate. It would have been really, really nice to hear everybody, but maybe next time. For next opportunity, we can listen to some others. Well, Adriana didn't join the class today. Yes, we do have Carlos, Cristina, Elsie, Fatima. Okay, third man, not possible. Present teacher. Hey. <laughs> okay. Present teacher. Hector. Thank you. Present teacher. Isabel. Present Catherine. Teacher. Present teacher. Lucy. Present. Mayra. Present. Nuri. Present teacher. Roberto Carlos. Present. Samuel. Present. Vitalia. Present teacher. Present teacher. Wendy. Wendy. When did you come? <laughs> When did you go? And Irma. Present teacher. Okay, nice. All right, let's see. Let's show the next exercise. I'm sorry, I feel like I'm sneezing. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, handle it. Okay, so these were the questions that you were definitely discussing. These are the introductory questions of this lesson, right? So what the steps do you follow in your everyday work and what happens when an employee doesn't follow a procedure? Yeah, this is another question that we've got to discuss later, right? So here you have a conversation. The conversation says, read the following conversation about a new employee at a restaurant. Yes. First, first, when you are new at any company, any type of job, yes, you definitely have to observe and pay a lot of attention because you probably have done similar work or similar job before. But every company has their own procedures, their own philosophy. So you have to observe, to adapt, right, to a new job. When you are a new employee, it's better to observe and not to assume, or better to observe or to ask or to confirm that this is the right procedure, right? Okay, <clears throat> so Javier asked, Sir, I forgot how to process a payment. All right, first, you give the options to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put it in the register or you slide the card through the card reader. No, you don't really slide the cards anymore. You only got like contacts, right? They even have a, a scan, I think right then the register prints the receipt and you give it back to the customer finally the customer signs the receipt and you keep a copy sometimes now you don't even have to sign a receipt you just get this fast payment right so they just give you the receipt and that's it so things are improving i bet you know some things are different now okay so thank you mr more 
So this is the manager more. So all this is the explanation on how to process a payment, okay? So once again, sir, I forgot how to process a payment. All right. First, you give the options to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put it in the register or you slide the card through the cash reader. Then the register points, the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer signs the receipt and you keep a copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. All right. Is there any question, any word that you find difficult to pronounce or the meaning? It's all, all right. Okay, so we're going to practice. So after you practice the conversation itself, you have a couple of questions here. Answer the following questions. What steps does manager Moore give Javier to process a payment? And what words that manager Moore used to order this sequence of events? Okay, this is the challenge. Practice the conversation as much as you can, then answer the two questions. All right? Ready? Thumbs up? Great. Okay, we're going to work with different partners, but still in groups. All right, here we go. Number one, um, No está activado para compartir, dice. No les puedo compartir, pero bueno. Uh, number one is uh, give the order. Hello. Hello, Samuel. Uh, process a payment. All right. First, you do the option to pay in cash or credit card. After that, pay the payment, put it in the re register or the slide, the card, through the card reader. Then, the register print the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer signs the receipt and you keep a copy. Yes, thank you, Mr. Moore. <laughs> okay, thanks. <laughs> so, uh -huh. I forgot, forgot how to process the payment. Um, all right, first, you give the op option to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put in the it in the register. ¿Cómo se pronuncia ahí? Register. Pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put it in the register, or you 
slide the car through the car reader. Then the register prints the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer sends the receipt and you keep a copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Okay. Miss Lucy, it's your turn. Who wants to be? Sir, I forgot how to process a payment. <laughs> All right. First, you give the option to the paying cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put in the register or your slider card through the card reader. Then the register prints the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer signs the receipt and you keep a copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Okay. <clears throat> Manager more useful or the sequence of events. Aha, by prácticamente la primera es decir, desde el first hasta keep a copy. Y what word uh, does manager more use to order the sequence of, of events? Sería first, after that, after that then, then, then and finally. finally. Yeah. Uh -huh. Ok. Entonces volvemos a repetir. Ya está contestado. Ajá, ajá. Pues uh -huh. si gusta, yo le pregunto y usted me responde. Dale. No. What steps does manager more give Javier to process a payment? Eh, um, well, ¿Cómo decirle? Le dio los pasos siguientes. Manuel. Mr. Moore, give, give the following step to Javier. Exactly, the okay. following steps. Okay. Mr. Moore, uh, give the following step. Uh, pay, pay cash or credit card. Uh, take the payment. Yo creo que sería pay the payment porque lo demás es explicar y book in the register on the slide the card through the card reading. Ajá. Ajá. Dije register, bring, receive, and you give them back to the customer. To y finally the customer sign the receipt and you keep a copy other other yeah. other questions what word does manager more use to order the sequence of events uh, he's used a uh, first After that, then, and finally. Okay, yes. I te pregunto a ti. Okay. What is the task manager more give Javier to process a payment? Um, Mr. Moore, uh, give to Javier the following uh, steps. And the, the first step is that Javier have two options, pay in cash, in, in cash, sorry, or credit card. The second step is um, take the payment and put it in the register or use slide the card through the card reader. The The third one is register, print the receipt, and give it back to the person. You keep a copy, sorry. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Moore. Okay, Miss Natalie, Lucy. 
Yes. Do you want practice one more time? Okay. Money and and in the in the check and how do you say it? In the register. Mm -hmm. But is but the second step say after that or said the second state say take the mm -hmm. payment and put in the register or slide the car uh -huh, or the mm -hmm. true yeah. like the true 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 the car reader true the car reader we can say that the second step Oh, si quiere, lo practicamos otra vez. Vémosle. Ok, voy a. Bueno, si quiere, hágalo usted, firme.
All right, let's listen to Elsie and Isabel. Ready for the conversation? Ready. Yes? More than ready. Yes, more than ready. <laughs> of course. <laughs> okay. You decide who wants to be the manager. Okay, one or oh, one time you can be the manager and then you can switch. I won't be the manager. All right. Elsie. <laughs> okay. <Go ahead. laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> see. Our partner who the person a payment. All right. First, you get the option to pay in cash or credit card. After that, pay the payment and put it in the register or just slide the card through the card reader. Then in the register, print the receipt and you get it back to the customer. Finally, the customer signs the receipt and you keep a copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Great. <laughs> now you can switch, actually. And now, yes, Elsie has to be the manager. Okay. Sure, I forgot how to process a payment. All right. First, you give the option to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put it in the register or just slide the card through the card. Head. Then the register prints the result and you give it the buy to the customer. Finally, the customer sends the receipt and you keep a cup. Thank you, Mr. Moore. All right. In this case, I think, sir, it's only for a man, remember. <laughs> In the case of a lady, you have to say ma'am. And then, Mr., yes, it's only, it's only for a man too. And for a woman would be Mrs., right? Just in case, you know, we have we want to apply the roles, right? Let's see who else. Let me check. Um, the next members of the other group were the next meeting. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna listen to Irma and Samuel. That was the second option. And of course, do the same thing. You have to switch the roles. Hello. Uh, I'm Javier. All right. Samuel. And see, I forget how to process a payment. Your mic. Si no con sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry, right. sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. It's okay, yeah. don't worry. Okay. Just start or, again. Okay. All right. First, you give the option to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put in the re register or you slide a card through the card reader. Then the register print the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer sends the receipt and you keep a copy. Thank you, uh, Mr. Moore. Okay, now switch. Sir, I forgot how to process a payment. All right, first you give the option to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put in the register, register or you slide the card through the card reader. 
then True. the register print True. the receipt and you give it back True. to the customer finally. Mm -hmm. The customer sees True. the receipt True. and you keep a copy. True. All right, cool, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Mr. Moore. All right. Let's see who else. The last couple we're going to choose because of the time. Mm, yes, we're going to choose. Okay, we're going to choose Walter and we're going to choose Christina. <laughs> because she knows about this. <laughs> For sure. Oh no, hold on. I forgot sharing this thing. <laughs> I know you were looking at me like, what's going on? <laughs> and now, <laughs> yes, there you go. Okay. 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 Um, that's for me. <laughs> Who you want to eat? Yes. Uh, Javier or manager more? Um, Javier. <laughs> okay, you start. <laughs> What step does manager? Oh, primero leemos. Yes. Ah, okay. Sir, I forgot how to process a payment. All right. First, you give the options to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put it in a register or slide the card through the, the card reader. Then the register prints the, re the receipt and you give the you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer signed the receipt and you keep a copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Okay, you wanna give us the answer to the questions? That's all right. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. What step does manager Moore give Javier to process a payment? The steps, uh, first of all, you give the options to pay in cash or credit card. This is the, the steps. Mm -hmm. After that, take the payment and put in the register or slide the, the card to the card reader. Then the register print the receipt and you give it back to the customer. And finally, the customer signed the receipt and you give a copy. That is a- uh, <laughs> The uh, whole procedure on how to the register whole a payment, yes. right? How uh, to process a payment. The process. And the other words, the other questions say, what word does manager more use to order the sequence of events? Well, the, the words are first, after that, then finally, first give a sequence in the conversation. Exactly. All right, when you have to follow step by step, right? So these are the sequence. I mean, there are other sequence words when you have even more steps, right? But these are like the most common ones. You say first, after that, then, finally, okay? You can also include second, third, right? Like when you say first, second, third, then, after that, later, finally, right? So you can include even more if there are more steps, right? Yes. So we have this definitely how to process a payment right and what position what job do you think javier is performing in the restaurant mm -hmm. maybe it's a cashier exactly it must be you know the cashier of the restaurant and he's new <laughs> which is interesting right okay here you have another little challenge 
Oh my God. <laughs> this is just about customers. Do you ever meet difficult customers? Ah, one day we were saying about this, okay? That if people attend customers or work in any customer service area, it's true that they have to be polite, they have to be helpful, they have to be kind, they have to be respectful and blah, 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 blah. But also the customer should be nice too. Not just because, I mean, you are the customer and somebody else is attending you. You can be impolite, disrespectful, rude, unkind. I mean, we are all humans, I think, and no matter the job the other person is doing, the person deserves to be respected, right? So, do you ever meet difficult customers? Choose one of the situations below and listen, describe five steps. Okay, que vamos a hacer un poco de psicología en el trabajo, right? So, a little bit of psychology. Okay, steps that you could use to deal with that difficult customer. A ver, aquí vamos a requerir un poco de inteligencia emocional. So then present your process to the class. The first situation, let's see. Mayra, could you read the first one? Number one, please. Your mic. <laughs> Tonight is the mic's issues. <laughs> Sorry. Read it again. Sorry. A customer is hungry because his food was not delivered on time. Okay, that's the first situation. Then you have to think of five steps to control, to handle that customer. That a customer is angry. Remember that we're talking about customers at a restaurant, right? So a customer is angry because his food was not delivered on time. Oh my God, it's been too late. I've been here two hours and blah, 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 blah. Okay, so the customer is hysteric. Okay, number two, Hector, could you please? Yes, it's sure I can. A customer is very aggressive to one of your employees. employees. Oh, employees. So the customer is very aggressive with one of your employees. Maybe you are the manager, maybe you are the, the chief or the person in charge, right? And you see that a, a customer is offending or is insulting or is being aggressive with one of your employees. Okay. A difficult situation, right? <laughs> More violence. <laughs> All right, let's see. Catherine, number three. Uh, customer said he found a toothpick in his food and that he will not pay for the food. Uh -oh. A customer says that he found a toothpick on his, in his food and that he will not pay for the food. What that's weird because mm -hmm. toothpicks are usually given when there's no food anymore, but anyways, maybe they use the toothpick for another purpose. Okay, sometimes they use it to, to keep the pieces of bread or ham together. All right, so he's saying that he's not gonna pay for the food. All right, number four, let's listen to Isabel. A customer is very aggressive. Aggressive. Uh, aggressive. Oh, no. Sorry, sorry. A customer is, that is the number four, right? Number four. Yes, a customer is calling upset. Okay. Mm -hmm. A customer is calling upset because he received the wrong delivery orders. Mm -hmm. Yes, the waiter, the waitress confused the order. So he received a wrong order, another dish, okay? Okay, in number five, we're gonna listen to, let's see, 
Wales, Wales, Wales. Uh, let's listen to Walter. Okay, a group of customers are getting upset because the cashier is too slow. Uh -oh. <laughs> they are there waiting to pay and the cashier never charges or never process the payment, right? This case happened in the supermarket. Oh, yeah. And people start getting upset. True. They start saying, hurry up. Why don't you process the payment? Blah, blah, blah. Do you understand all the situations? Are the situations clear? You see what's happening? Teacher, what yes. does Tell toothpick me. mean? Toothpick is palilla diente. Ah, thank you. Mm -hmm. Imagine if you find that in your food. That's dangerous, actually. Yes. But some people use these toothpicks to, to put food together. A veces como quiera hacer como un, un tipo de, de enrollados, algo así, la gente utiliza toothpicks. También lo utilizan en las decorations de los desserts. Uh, mm -hmm. Pero no debería, porque eso es dangerous. La gente no espera encontrar un toothpick en, 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 en algo de comer o pesca. A menos que sea eh, que un pincho o algo que usted ya sabe que está con eso, ¿verdad? Pero eso no es un toothpick, es un big stick. Mm -hmm. What else? Is, is everything clear? ¿En todas las, las situaciones claras? Va, elijan una, así random. Y traten de, de quizás no cinco steps, pero three, because of the time. At least three, traten de decir tres de los steps que ustedes seguirían para manejar esa situación. Cualquiera, la que ustedes quieran, individually. Háganlo de forma individual. Les voy a dar los five minutes que falta. <ríe> One minute for each of the steps. Ustedes eligen la situación que ustedes quieran. Whatever situation you want to pick, it's all right. Oh my God. Oh my God. And I said, ready medicine. I'm ready. I'm ready, like ready. Teacher, entonces si decido, si, si elijo una de esos, tendría que poner cómo, cómo lo manejaría. Sí, en cinco pasos. Usted dice, first, I will do this and this and this. Then, for second, after that. For example, si usted elige la number one. A customer is angry because the food was not delivered on time. First, I talk to the customer. Second, I offer an apology. Sorry. All right. And then... I compensate with a discount on the total. Mm -hmm. Then finally, I wish a good night now. <laughs> I don't know, pero se, imagínense cómo resolvería esa situación. Yo creo que todas es, tienen algunos procesos establecidos dependiendo de los, de los negocios, pero eh, en mi caso, el que yo creo que sí me costaría es el que a customer is very aggressive. 
Pero es que uno no sabe la gente es. <laughs> With mental issues, it's difficult to handle. Si alguien se pone agresivo en un restaurante, imagínense. It's difficult to handle. Are you ready? No, I think we're not ready. Vaya, tranquilos. Lo van a hacer como homework This y es el... Oh, yeah, you're ready. Yeah. Really? Which case did you choose? Number two. Oh, really? Dos cachetadas ahí. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Slap. Hey, let's, let's, let me uh, write this. <laughs> ah, usted es que está molestando. Bye. No nos haga spoiler, dejémoslo para mañana porque ahorita ya no tenemos time y solo uno va a pasar, así que no. Veamos la tendencia y a quién le corresponde su sesión de uno buen. Vamos a ver, aquí ya no nos subo. Carlos. Present teacher. Cristina. Present. Elsie. Present teacher. Fátima. Present teacher. Thank you. Oh my God. Let's see. Hector. Present. Isabel. Present. Catherine. Present teacher. Lucy. Present. Mayra. Present. Nuri. Present. Roberto Carlos. Present. Sam. Present. Helia. Present. Walter. Wendy, present and Irma. Teacher. I am here, teacher. All right. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Bueno, el turno en realidad del one on one es de, después de Ferman, es de Hazel. Pero Hazel creo que no se ha conectado. Dígame. Hazel, no sé si la vi por ahí. En todo caso, seguía Mr. Hector. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> okay. Anyway, goodbye. goodbye, good night, enjoy, see you tomorrow. Good see you. Rest, relax. Tomorrow. Bye. 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 <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Bye, teacher. Bye. Good night. Good night. Mr. Hector, how are you? I'm fine. You didn't Pretty attend tired. classes yesterday. No, yeah. because I have a, a emergency with my emergency. uncle. Mm -hmm. Really? No. Uh, my, yeah. Uh, I, I need, need no. Mm -hmm. I have to take him uh, to the hospital. I have to take him to the hospital. Really? Because very, very sick. Mm -hmm. That's sad. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, I thought you were working. Sorry? I thought you were working. Mm hmm. No, yo pensé, I que era, ajá, no yo pensé, I thought. Pensé que estaba trabajando. Ah, ajá. I thought no, you were working. No, no, no. No, no working. Ah, eh, estaba listo como de, I, I, we, I, I was ready. I was ready for the class. Yeah. And this moment called me and, and say, hey. And he lives alone. Uh, uncle, uh, he's, he's, he's six. And you, can you help me for? To take him to the hospital. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Está él? How is he feeling now? Um, Better? Continua, continua en el hospital? He's still at the hospital. Mm -hmm. I think, I, no, como se, I, eh, como se pasaba de think? I, I thought. I thought and lost the class again. Really? But, uh -huh, but, okay. but, but no, eh, ahorita está, digamos, como que Stable. Mejor. Stable. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And he is in what hospital? Seguro social. Yep. Oh, in the right. central. Okay. Mm -hmm. At this least. In the night, in the night, the hospital is horrible. Right. A lot of 
of persons sick with accident with emergencies uh, a lot of emergencies it, it's crazy it's traumatic uh, uh, horrible horrible no. maybe i can i cannot um do medical doctor no, no. me neither me neither it's so the the environment is so desperate because people are sick people are sad people yep. are crying people it's so crazy i know yep. three it's years toxic. ago it's yeah it's really terrible it's i mean the movies is nothing compared to no. the reality <laughs> yes <laughs> years ago we had an emergency with my dad and my brothers never had been to a hospital but that time the, my father spent like a week in the hospital <gasps> my goodness they observe all kind of events mm. that were really really traumatizing for my brothers uh, in spanish uh, uno de los uh, de los pacientes que estaba cerca donde estaba mi padre se le soltó a la enfermera y le incrustó una, una aguja a mi hermano imagine aquí on his neck wow exactly and my brother defend himself porque mi, mi hermano se defendió o sea se paró y lo agarró al 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 patient y la enfermera enojada con él. La y estoy diciendo que entonces no lo controla. Le dice. Ajá, y, ajá. y, obviously, my brother podía haber demandado a hospital, pero como en un hospital nacional de aquí abajo. Uh -huh. Entonces, le hicieron los exámenes y todo, que, que no hubiera sido una, una aguja ocupada, que, que estuviera estéreo y todo eso. H -A -B. Sí. Exactly, they, they, they. how dangerous, porque mi hermano se quedaba yeah, toda yeah. la noche cuidando a mi papá, entonces él dice que estaba como pues, tratando de medio descansar en una silla, y llega el hombre y le hace, o sea, y se supone que era un paciente que tenía alguna dificultad mental, mm. terrible, terrible, my brother, es really traumatized with the hospital, porque ese año fue una racha horrible, first my dad, then his wife because his wife was pregnant <laughs> exactly and then bueno digamos que logramos mantener la situación de, de la wife ¿verdad? porque los últimos meses literal que tuvo que estar ingresada because of, of the pregnancy que era de alto riesgo bla 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 no es el bebé y que estábamos bien bla 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 y the, then the baby cuando ya tenía nine months tiene un accidente o sea justo the baby. Ya, the baby, porque el baby a los nueve meses ya empezaba ajá. como como a movilizarse, digamos. A ajá, ajá. Entonces, jala una plancha que habían usado para planchar el uniforme del hermanito. Me imagino, again to the hospital. The no, en his leg. Venga, le cayó la piernita. Ah, ah. Pero, o sea, ya no estaba ni conectada, pero igual había quedado el calor. Entonces, ah, una quemada... Y era como que lo querían hacer ver, obviamente en los hospitales no saben, ¿verdad? Lo querían hacer ver como que era maltrato. Negligencia. Exacto. Mm -hmm. Entonces, otro trauma. My brother is like... Yeah, yeah. A mí me, me, me ofendió una vez que me preguntaron porque llevé a mi niño que se, se, se travieso, se, se rompió la cabeza. Se, la, se, se abrió la cabeza. jugando, se volteó. Ajá. Y entonces me dice, ¿y usted maltrata a niños? Yo me daba ganas de decirle un montón de cosas, pero, pero dame la calma. Keep the calm and say, no. You the have problem, to control. El problema fue, no sé. Exactly. No, mi hermano, mi hermano es como, whatever he mentions, I mean, in hospital, he's like, no, 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 no. no, 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 no. <laughs> yes, because, it's, I mean, the nurses and the doctors are really rude sometimes. Yep. Yeah, they don't, they, they kind of lose the sensibility. They, they are not sensitive anymore for feelings, for trauma, for people's, uh, I mean, emotions, whatever. They don't care. Mm -hmm. It's true. Yes, yes. Bueno, Mr. Hector, thank you talking to you. Espero que todo siga mejor con su Thank you.
Okay, I hope to see yeah. you tomorrow. If not, send a message. Okay. 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 All right. Thank Have you. a good ah, night. Me dijo, me dijo, me dijo el, 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 no sé cómo se llamaría, el, el supervisor, no sé, uh -huh. que en, en caso suceda eso, que, que conecte y diga y le diga que estaría de oyente. Ah, ok, perfecto. Pero que trate de no perderla. Okay, Entonces yo, perfecto. en algún caso, le diría, mire, teacher, voy a estar de oyente. Ajá, o escribe en el chat. Primero Dios, este, ya, ya no sabes, tengamos ese problema. Sí, ajá, que me imaginé que le habían llamado, porque sabes de que le llamaron. <risa> Okay, teacher. All right, Thank good you. night. Blessing. Uh, good night, too. Bye. Thank you. You too.